You know, when I was a kid, I dreamed of being a football player. And out of high school, I got drafted in the Navy. They sent me off to Korea. I was lucky enough to come back with two good knees. But my old man had other plans for me. No football. Handed me a union card, drove me down to the piers. I had just served my country, and he said, they did you a favor. That is David Arquette in the new film, Black Jack, the Jackie Ryan story, which once again shows what a versatile performer David Arquette is in his equally diverse career. He's literally done it all. He's an actor, director, producer, a fashion designer, and even a professional wrestler. We will get to that. But David joins us now. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Of course. So let's talk about Black Jack, the Jackie Ryan story. You play uh, Jack Ryan's father in it. Tell me how, how you came to know about Jackie Ryan and then later this film. Well, Danny A., the director, is an incredible friend of mine and amazing director. And uh, he's been obsessed with this story for a while. He loves basketball. He loves filmmaking. So it was like a combination. And... Uh, uh, Black Jack, Jackie Ryan was like the most famous New York City street ball player. And he ran into him one time on the court and found out that, you know, there was a script and he, he went after it for years and then finally got a chance to make this incredible love story. It's a love story with basketball and and uh, amazing like romance. We all know love goes well with basketball. <laughs> <laughs> so are you a big sports fan as well? Did you know about Jackie Ryan before the director brought it to you? Yeah, I heard about him. I heard about all the street ball players. I've always loved that that subculture. And it's really a story about um, just going after your dreams. And, and even if life sort of throws you curveballs, just sort of stick with it. It's a really inspirational story. Yeah, I mean, if hey, if anyone knows about curveballs, it's uh, everybody in 2020. So you're back to work right now on Scream 5. I know you probably can't tell us a lot about it, but uh, what sort of hints, if any, can you share with us? <laughs> well, I'm 10 years older, and it, <laughs> I'm so much sexier, too. I mean, I'm sexier than I've ever been. Of no. course. Uh, uh, there's not really anything I can say about it. It's just sort of, uh, it's it's sort of for people to see. It's a really exciting movie. They have an incredible uh, couple of directors from a group called Radio Silence, Matt and Tyler. They're just really great, and it's really great to carry on Wes Craven's tradition with the support of him and Kevin Williamson, the original writer. So. It's, it's got a tremendous uh, group behind it and wonderful new actors. I'm so excited oh, for cool. people. Yeah. And so 10 years later, what was the reunion like for you? <laughs> it, was, it was strange. It's strange seeing like all these young kids that were sort of my age when I first started Aww. it. 20 <laughs> years in the making. So there's not many films that last that long that at the end of it I have a 16 year old daughter because of that whole experience so I'm very grateful for it. I, I love that you're so tickled by this. Um, what tickles me is that I found out today that you're a professional wrestler. I mean what? How did that even happen? Yeah I'm a world champion professional wrestler. <laughs> uh, it happened because I was promoting a movie called Ready to Rumble uh, and I just did a documentary called You Cannot Kill David Arquette, which was my return to wrestling. Mm -hmm. And uh, through the course of it, I became uh, ranked top 500 in uh, 2019, uh, number 453, but who's counting? <laughs> <laughs> Not you, that's for sure. That's insane. Did you ever think from going to promoting something that you'd actually be a good wrestler? Well, just like in Jackie Ryan, you know, I always had this dream of wrestling. I'd look up and I'd see, ah, oh, it'd be so incredible to win the belt. And then when I finally did it, the fans got really upset because I hadn't properly trained. So I wanted <laughs> to go back and train. And, uh, you know, that's really sort of <laughs> why I did it. And it was a really uh, life changing experience. Very cool. Well, hey, uh, Black Jack, the Jackie Ryan story looks so amazing. We've got the full trailer up on our uh, Fox 5 More Facebook page right now. You can watch it starting this Friday on Amazon and iTunes. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We so appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. All right. Talk to you later.